Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Jazzwares... Well, I don't even know what to call it. What series is this? I guess it's the Call of Duty action figure line. Of course, the title will probably be something a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I was looking up some WWE and AEW figures recently on the GameStop website, and I came across an advert for this, and I was like, what? They're making Call of Duty figures again? Uh, McFarlane did it a couple of years back. I have Soap and Ghost from that line. But this, I didn't even know was coming out. And then I went to my local GameStop today, and I found it there. So I had to pick it up. I'm a massive video game player love call of duty and ghost is easily one of my favorites and i really hope that they continue this line and have more characters from the game before we unbox it though let's take a look at this box so it has all the accessories that it comes with um yeah nothing really more than that just a picture of it but i gotta say this is basically going to be the halo spartan collection of call of duty figures they're made by the same company the box is the same way the figures are going to be somewhat similar but uh anyways let's get them out of the box and we can kind of talk about that a little bit more i'm just kind of i don't even know what to do i didn't even know this figure was coming out i don't really know what to say about it but let's get him out of here and a very interesting um backdrop here it's got some topography there very call of duty-esque i like that a lot but as kyle peterson says and of course go shout out or go check out kyle peterson see ya later all right so here we have it some of the accessories are already, already coming out of the box but there you go ghost out of the box still in the packaging and i'm super excited to check this out so let's do just that all right we have a bunch of accessories to check out we'll pop them all out of here if we can get that 1911 out of there Get the M4 out of there without breaking it, hopefully. The extra hands. Man, a lot of accessories. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then, of course, the figure itself. That was loud. Oh, my gosh. This thing is this thing is quite something. Quite something here, folks. Let's see if I can get him to stand on the, uh, on the not foam. I don't know, the felt. That's what I'm looking for. All right. We're going to lay him down. He ain't standing. Um, yeah, it looks like my WWE thing is occupied right now. Let's take a look at the accessories first. We'll start with the least interesting, and that is going to be these hands here. So the ones that he has equipped are going to be his trigger fingers. We'll take a look at those when we take a look at the figure. But he comes with two extra hands. One of them is going to be an open grip hand, I'm assuming for like a magazine or the radio that he comes with, which of course we'll check out. And then one fisted hand in case, you know, he runs out of bullets, something like that. So there we go. Two extra black gloved hands. And the next thing that we have is going to be a little radio right there. So that's pretty cool. Not a ton of detail, but they did add details with the screen. And it is multiple colors, which is a lot better than some other companies are doing. So awesome to have that. We do have two magazines for his M4. And we might as well just bring the M4 in since we're talking about it. And let's see how those go in. Oh, those fit great. And the M4, pretty basic M4. Uh, it's got iron sights, pretty basic stock. No real accessories, you know, like a laser sight or anything like that. But really cool. And I love that it comes with two magazines. I'm, I'm assuming you can have one kind of equipped on his vest. And then you can kind of throw the other one in. But that is super cool. And the last accessory that we have here is going to be a very basic M1911. Of course, Browning 1911. And that is pretty cool. Might have gotten a little bent in the box, but I'm sure we can kind of fix that over time or with some heat. And the detailing is actually fairly interesting. You can see all of the real mechanics of the 1911. Does it have the safety? It even has the safety, I believe. So that is great to see. All right, let's assemble this. What we're going to do, actually, I'll take a look at the figure first, and then we can kind of assemble it. But here we have it. All right, so starting at the legs here, he does have the typical kind of like Merrill uh, outdoors boots that the military tends to wear a lot. Can you focus, please? There we go. You can see that. And then moving up, he does have double jointed knees. Really great to have. He's got a bunch of articulation here, so you can kind of do a, do a split if you really wanted to. But I don't know if a ghost is really doing splits out there on the battlefield. Uh, along the the waist here, he's got kind of an R like a RF frequency transmitter, something like that, and then some more rope along the waist. He's got a pretty basic military vest, and it seems like he has pouches for the radio and for the extra magazine. That is really cool. He's got a little like a, what is that? A smoke smoke grenade, something like that. What is the text on there? Oh, it's an incense grenade. Wow, an incense grenade he's got there. He's got a frag grenade on his chest there moving up. And then he's got these rolled up sleeves. Does he have the tattoos? Yes, he does have the tattoos along with a watch there. And then he's got some patches 
Is this uh, is it the, the Union Jack? That is the Union Jack right there. It's kind of hard to see, but that is the British flag. Nothing on the old other shoulder. Moving up to the head here is just his typical ghost mask with the headphones. The headphones do not come off, and then it comes with a little mic there as well. And then finally, he has this nice shawl, kind of cape, poncho, whatever you want to call it, and that also has a Union Jack print on it as well. If it will zoom in, there we go. You can see that. One last look at the face there, really cool. You can even see the eyes in there, really awesome. Love that. This cape though, he does have a hood that will hopefully come up, not really stay in there too well. And you can kind of wrap this around his body, it moves, I'm pretty sure you can take it off. Yeah, you can, you can take it off. I wanna keep it on though. I love capes, love ponchos, very Western. One thing I should show off to you guys though, is going to be the articulation. I know I kind of touched on it earlier, can you not have it focused right there, please? Oh, it makes me so angry when it does that. Okay, double jointed knees, like I said before. Please focus. It's just stuck on him there. Let me see if I can bring it out. There we go. Double jointed knees, that works great. Double jointed elbows, although I don't really like this design that much. To the naked eye, it looks like these would be really flimsy. They're not, trust me, they're very stiff, they're very good, but it just looks too, like, I don't know. They do a better job with the Spartan collection, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe they'll kind of update that later, but you can just see those joints on the forearms. Maybe with a character that didn't have the sleeves rolled up, it'd look better, but they should kind of change that a little bit. And then does he have any, oh, he does have ab articulation. So you can move him back and forth there. Looks like I almost snapped him off there. Did I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, okay, so you can snap that out a little bit, but be careful with that. So I got him back in, but he does have ab articulation. However, a little warning on that. Be careful with it, be careful with it. Okay, let's try to assemble this the best we can before we wrap up this video. So he's got the trigger fingers in already. I'm going to equip the other hand so that he'll be able to kind of hold the, um, the barrel of the M4, and then we'll kind of get him Let's see what I can get with the legs. Maybe I can do something here. Maybe that'll work. We'll have something like that. All right, we're gonna take the radio, and it seems like the radio is gonna go in this bigger pouch here. So I'm gonna slide that in there if I can, and yep, that fits like a glove. And then we have the other magazine for the M4, and that fits in there. Yep, that fits in there just as well, so that is great to have. I apologize for it not focusing. Does he have a place for his pistol, though? That is my number one concern right now, and it does not seem like he has one. Okay, Jazzwares, in the future, just throw a simple holster on his belt. You already got a bunch of bells and whistles. I mean, if I'm not missing anything, yeah. It does not seem like there's a place for his pistol, so you're gonna throw it to the side or, or throw the other trigger finger on. You can put that together, but let's throw the M4 in his hands and see these hands are very tight. The grip on them is very, very tight, although there is no trigger guard on this M4, so no worries about like breaking it or anything. Please zoom in. Come on, there we go. There's no trigger guard on there, so no worries about breaking that or anything like that. And let's see how well we can get him in a pose here. Honestly, pretty well. Pretty decent, I will say. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna strain myself getting that hand fully around the, the end of the barrel there, but let's see if we can kind of get him in a nice position. We'll throw this hood up a little bit, have that coming around a little bit. And yeah, all right, let's see if we can throw him down and pose him. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, well, that's gonna take a little bit more consideration from me, maybe on the flat surface. No, it's just there's a lot of heaviness going on with this figure. He's got weight distribution all over, but I'm sure you guys get the picture. Overall though, really awesome figure, gotta say. And this is the launch edition. It's set on the box launch edition. So I think this is gonna be their kind of test run with figures. And honestly, a very good one to start out with. And hopefully they make more in the future. I would love to see it. But bring back like Roebuck, bring back Dempsey, do all the zombies characters. That's what we really, really want. Not so much, you know, Ghost and Price and soap, although they are a fan favorite. So I'm gonna lead them up there, right behind, right in front of Mr. Perfect, and you guys can kind of see him there. But that's all I have in this video. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't even really even know how to feel about this, but I do hope that they continue it and have some more heavy hitters from the Call of Duty series. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.